Now, DAP Kenya Party leader Eugene Omalo has vowed to challenge the proposed privatization of loss-making institutions, including the Kenyatta International Convention Center, saying it should be maintained as a national treasure. Speaking at a forum that brought together Western Kenya leaders, Omalo also registered his dissatisfaction with the report of the bipartisan committee, saying it failed to address the issues affecting the people. You can see the ugly head of corruption rearing uh, in our midst. We can see the privatization of key national assets, including a national monument like KICC. Surely, if you sell KICC, then you could as well sell State House itself. You could as well sell uh, Kenya Airways. And I believe just the way we've challenged the others, this is one issue that is going to be challenged uh, by the brave new bar that is here. But also as political leaders, as as Mio, we've spoken about this. Uh, I've just come from Western. And we've taken a stand that we are going to challenge this. And we also want to say the bad laws that have been passed by Parliament are contributing to this. Because the privatization law itself, where you can privatize national uh, assets without the oversight of Parliament, that is the weakness.